are we going to get into today? Well, it is uh, Moonshine Wednesday, so we're going to do something a little bit different, but it is Moonshine nevertheless. We are going to make a Long Island Iced Tea Moonshine. This will all be pretty tasty. This is one of my favorite uh, mixed drinks. So I kind of worked out this idea that uh, we're going to make a little bit of moonshine out of it. So um, let's get into it and see what happens, okay? But first things first, welcome to Stewart's and Brook. My name is Randy and this is the channel all about home distillation in Brook. Okay, so let's get ready to make our, like I said, a Long Island iced tea moonshine. Is there tea in it? No. Does it taste like tea? Yes. Okay, so we're going to make a quart, uh, and you can make this, you know, it's linear. You can uh, just, just make as much as you want, just multiply it, okay? All right, so our darn fly. Okay, so the first ingredient we got is vodka. Oop, not that one. There we go. I'm going to use my potato vodka. And, hey, this is homemade, so it is actually technically moonshine, right? Okay, so what we want is four ounces of this. And I got this nice little thing here. If I can find it, there we go. Ounces, right to there. So we want four ounces of the vodka. And we'll put that in the in the jar there. Alright, the next we have a white rum. This is 90 proof. We'll put that in there, four ounces of that. Uh, these these drinks here could get you in a little bit of trouble. So four ounces of a white rum. Okay. Next we got four ounces of our gin hmm. four ounces of gin alright and here's one thing I did not make and I have to use store bought because I've never made tequila before you know, I've made just about everything that you can imagine except for tequila uh, I ain't saying tequila is one of my most favorite drinks. It's good for mixing for me. But I have had some the higher end tequila. And it was aged. It was like dark, you know, like like uh, brown spirits, but it was aged in oak. It was pretty darn good. So, tequila. Uh, four ounces of that. All right, four ounces tequila. We are getting it done now. Okay, and then here's another thing that I've never made. And it's triple sec. It's basically an orange liqueur. Right? So we want four ounces of that. So four ounces of triple sec. Now, we want six ounces of a sweet and sour mix. And basically all this is is lime juice, lemon juice, and some simple sugar. Or simple sugar, whatever you want. Or simple syrup, I think you, you call it. So we want six ounces of that. ounces of that and then we're going to top it off with some good old coke so we're going to finish it up and that should be right around six ounces and that's what makes it look like iced tea that look like iced tea Okay, um, tell you what, let me go find Laura, and I'm going to show you how you fix this, uh, this uh, Long Island Iced Tea Moonshine, and we're going to try it out, uh, because I've never made this before, I mean I've made 
uh, Long Island iced tea, but I've never made it with all, it's been a while, with all the good stuff here. Okay, so let me go find more and we're going to try this out, okay? Okay, I found her. <laughs> All right. So we're going to try our Long Island iced tea moonshine. Okay. Hey, if you, and if you may, if you're having some gathering of people and you make this up ahead of time, people love it. They will love it. All right. So we want to have a shake with ice. We put a little in that before I knock it over. I would knock it over, wouldn't it? Yeah, or the flies. Alright, so we'll give it a good shake. Now this might be a little bit powerful because you know, that is mostly alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, there, it had a little bit of um, sweet sour and a little bit of coke in there. But overall, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty strong. Alright, so then we're going to pour it over fresh ice. All right. Let's give it a try. Absolutely. Here we go. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like iced tea. It tastes like And there is no iced tea in it, no tea in it at all. Oh, nope. But I tell you what, I think if you had two of those, you'd, that would be enough. You'd be enough. It'd yes. be done. Good. Mm. That is good. So mm. I'd have to say that's a success. Oh uh, yes. A uh, nice hot summer day. Well, well, today's a nice, beautiful, breezy day. It's been nice out here. So. Well, thanks for helping me taste this. Absolutely. I know it's a t like we've done before. It's tough, but we something Somebody's we have to do. Somebody's got to do it. I know. All right. So, I guess the last thing I got to say is, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next, next time, time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody. Yum. That's good. That is good. Mm. That won't last long. No. Oh, it'll probably be going tonight.